Hey guys, it's Chloe and I've got pretty much a bare face because today we are doing a little dupe video. So I was in Superdrug yesterday and I picked up this eyebrow pencil by Makeup Revolution and it is called the Duo Brow Definer and it looks pretty much identical to the Anastasia Brow Definer and the name is the same and everything. So um, I picked up the shade Dark Brown and I tested it out in this video. So this eyebrow pencil is £2.50 and the Anastasia is £16. So there's a massive price difference. So I want to see if there's somewhat a quality difference. You're having a sneak peek, sneak peek because I have done my eyebrows. And I just want to say these type of eyebrow pencils are my favourite. I prefer I prefer the Anastasia Brow Wiz and the Benefit Precisely My Brow. Like I like the more thinner tips because I do have thin eyebrows to start off with. So yeah, these aren't my favourite and they're not the easiest for me personally to work with. But you will have to keep watching the video to see my full review on the Makeup Revolution Duo Brow Definer. So this is the little box that you're looking out for. I got mine from Superdrug. And mine was actually opened in the store, but this was the only shade that they had in dark brown. I've tried to look online for the shades, but like I can't really find out like how many they are because on both Superdrug and on Tan Beauty, which is where you buy Makeup Revolution from, like it's just like the shades are like it's not like where you can click on it and then like, choose your shade. It's just like the shades are listed. But from what I can see, I think that there's about three shades. So you get a spoolie on this end, and honestly, it doesn't seem like the best spoolie. Um, my favourite spoolie is of the Anastasia Brow Wiz because it's just a really small um, spoolie and he said smoothie a spoolie but like the hairs are really close together I have one behind me so I will show you that in a minute but yeah you pop the little lid off it's got nice little lids the packaging is really nice it's like matte black so there's revolution in there like copper standard packaging and then you twist it up and it's like that standard teardrop shape and the colour seems pretty good for me as I said I got mine in the shade dark brown that's foundation I can never really like I'm I'm always struggling to find like the perfect shade for my eyebrows because like naturally they're super light if I go on really dark then there'll be like sparse areas and stuff which are really hard to fill in but I do dye my hair so it's hard to get like that perfect match which is actually why I'm on the hunt for an Anastasia for a new eyebrow pencil because I just can't find my shade in Anastasia. I'm sorry if my light's gone a little bit crazy. The sun keeps coming in. But I'm just going to get straight to applying this. Oh, it's really creamy. It's like coming off straight away. Might even be a little, a little too creamy. The colour is actually really nice. I like the colour. I was worried it was going to be too red. Because a lot of browns have red in them. And it's like, that's not a natural eyebrow tone. So... Okay, this is like super like creamy and waxy. Like it, it feels nice on my hand, but then again, it does come off like super easy. It's like super pigmented, but I don't know if it's going to apply too much. Like I feel as though I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. I'm not going to be able to get clean lines with this. Guys, look at this eyebrow. It's so hard to get a clean line. Like honestly. I'm not like the biggest fan of these shapes, but I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but like it's actually, it's so creamy that it's just like taken away the like the sharp shape that it was like molded into originally. It kind of feels like a pomade. I have this Makeup Revolution pomade. This is in the shade Graphite. And I do, I like this pomade, but again, it's just too slippy. Like there's too much slip to it. Um, But it, it literally feels like the same consistency as this. This is like super thick. But it's like pretty much the same consistency. And like you want a little bit of slip in a pomade, but not so much in a pencil because it's so easy to just like and you just can't create clean lines. I might have to go and grab <clears throat> a different, like a pointed eyebrow pencil to help me out with this brow. First of all, I'm gonna try the other brow first. Yeah, it's just way too creamy. Like, I like a brow that does glide, like glide onto the face and it doesn't skip or pull or anything like that. But this is just too much. There's too much creaminess to it. This is my good brow. So this one, I would say, isn't going too bad. I like the way it's clinging to my hair. It's more that when I'm overdrawn. I'm going to try and spoolies this through. This other brow didn't go too bad, but I said, like, this is, like, my good brow. But 
my like trouble spot in my eyebrows is these underneath bits here because it's not so much hair it's kind of like i used to actually pluck the hairs away and i'd have like a super like arch brow whereas my eyebrows are actually pretty much straight but um they're not like fully established hairs they look like stray hairs but they're actually my eyebrow hairs um so i'm gonna have to go with a different pencil there but as i said like wherever it's actually like in my hairs i don't mind it it looks really nice it's super pigmented it kind of looks like i've done my eyebrows with a pomade but i've had like the easy easiness of a pencil so like they're as dramatic as a pomade but you can do with a pencil so i do think it has like <clears throat> a lot of pores but i just it's way too creamy to get like a sharp brow with and i don't have the effort to clean up my brow i tend to just end up smearing like black concealer all over my face whenever it picks up the pigment so i'm gonna try and clean this up using a benefit pencil as i said bought this one yesterday too i'm looking for a, a new eyebrow pencil i do like the anastasia but i just struggle to find my shade and i'm going through so many like so quick and i heard in laura lee's video she said that the benefit precisely my brow because i like the goof proof but i've talked about it before i feel so it like for some reason takes out my eyebrow hairs i don't know why but i always find my eyebrow hairs like in the pencil and i don't have many to lose but yeah this one apparently lasts lasts a lot longer than the anastasia so i'm gonna go with this one and i'm gonna try and clean these up okay so i'm having a really hard time with my brows like they're going really bad so i'm gonna try and go in with my spoolie from my anastasia brow wiz and see if this can fix it it literally looks like i've tattooed my eyebrows on I just feel as though the Revolution one, with it being like somewhat of pomade consistency, it's just too much when you're using it from a pencil. I don't know. Once the spoolie, that was a good spoolie. I don't think that the spoolie on the Revolution eyebrow pencil is good. But I do have thin brows, um, so that's why I like this spoolie the best because it just fits on there perfectly. But also, I think that this is going to transfer during the day because the spoolie is picking up a lot of product and then it's like stamping onto my face. Which, I mean, that could happen any time, but, like, not the amount that is. Do you see how it's just, like, spreading around my face? So, this is how my eyebrows are looking right now. This is a mission. Like, guys, this is so difficult. I mean, I always find it hard to get used to a new eyebrow product anyway. Because I'm not really sure how this one's working for me. This one's by benefit, as I said. I'm not really sure, like, how I'm feeling about this one. I'm just using this to help me sharpen up the lines. But yeah, it's not my best eyebrow day, but I do think I'm going to give this pencil another shot. But for now, I'm going to talk about, because I actually forgot to mention, as I did my other brow, um, I would have done one pencil, because I do have the Anastasia, uh, which one's this one's called? The Anastasia Brow Definer. Um, I do have one, but it's not in the right shade for me. This I got accidentally got this in dark brown, so it's a little bit too light, and especially against the... Um, the revolution one so i didn't want to like completely make a mess of this i wanted it to look somewhat decent but now i'm going to talk about like the similarities so the packaging is kind of similar i mean there's not really that much you can do to make the eyebrow pencils different oh the revolution one's official name is the duo brow definer which i don't really understand how it's a duo i don't know if it's because of the spoolie in the end but yeah so this is the duo brow definer and this is the anastasia brow definer revolution obviously they do like copy a lot of brands um products which is kind of good because this is 16 pounds and this is two pounds 50 so if it was as good as this it would be like an amazing dupe but as i said this one's just it's just too creamy like if you can work with a creamy eyebrow pencil i'd say go and pick this up try and find your shade or i'd say test out anyway with it being so cheap you might love it and then you have an affordable eyebrow pencil so here are the two tips i'm going to hold them in front of my white ass face so you guys can see so from what i can see the anastasia is actually quite a good bit thinner than the makeup revolution one so it's easier to get that sharper brow and those sharp lines like this back part here is actually just a straight up line pretty much and then the one on this pencil is pretty thick that's it that's them both from the back that is them from the front and yeah they're both they're both just the same teardrop shape and i just think that the anastasia was better which I'm not really shocked about. I did. I didn't think they was gonna live up to the Anastasia. This, these are everybody's like most of eyebrow pencils. My favorite out of these two are the Brow Wiz. Yeah, I find it a little bit hard to do my eyebrows with this one, but that's just my personal preference. So 
they are pretty similar but i just do think that in the anastasia it with it being so thin and the formula not so creamy like these really think about how it's going to perform on the brow whereas this one it's just like it's kind of like they've copied this one but they've not really thought about how it was going to perform on somebody's eyebrow if you know what i mean but i was a spoolie squad i actually prefer the one the makeup revolution one because it's thinner it doesn't have as many spirals as the anastasia but it is a lot thinner than this one this one is way too big for my eyebrows this is like the size of my brow so whenever i'm trying to spoolie through it doesn't really work out so i do actually prefer the spoolie on this one and as far as product weight goes so one thing i do want to point out on the back of the anastasia where it has the little like how long you can keep this product for this one says 24 months and then the makeup revolution one on the box it says six months so i don't really know what's in this to make it go out of date like a lot quicker than this i checked the weight and on in the anastasia it says you get 0.2 grams and in the makeup revolution you get 0.15 grams i don't really understand like how you would get a, like a lot more i have used this eyebrow pencil a lot even though it wasn't my right shade i just was using it and i was setting it with a powder to darken it like with an eyeshadow so yeah i have used this one a good bit but i would say you definitely would get more in the revolution pencil normally than you would in this one i'd say i've used about half of this so it won't be like a drastic difference, but you definitely do get more in this one. But I just don't understand the difference in weight as to why this is not 0.2 grams and this is not 0.15. Like that's that's a bit exaggerating. Well, overall, although I don't love this eyebrow pencil, I do think that this one is better. But I don't think that the Makeup Revolution one is bad at all. As I said, it's the creaminess. It's too creamy and it just does make a little bit of a mess of your eyebrows. If you can like clean up your brow really sharp and stuff like that, like if you can work with a creamy product and then sharpen up your eyebrows without the pencil making it sharp, then I would say go for it. And if you like a creamy product anyway, then I would definitely say go for it. As I said, it's like a pomade. It is a little bit too much because when you're applying a pomade with a brush, you're not applying as much, as much pressure as you are with a pencil. So I guess going in light-handedly would be good as well. But I'm used to the Anastasia brow width isn't that pigmented at all so you do have to press pretty hard with this i've literally got the tiniest bit left in this you do have to press pretty hard to get any pigment that's me going with a light hand and then that's me going in with a heavy hand can you even see that so yeah i am used to going in with more of a heavy hand i maybe should have gone in lighter but i definitely am going to give this a couple more chances and see how i feel about it because eyebrow pencils for somebody like me who I draw my, draw my eyebrow pencils on pretty much every single day, I do go through a lot of them. So to find one for £2.50 and available at the drugstore instead of Anastasia, which I have to order online, would be really amazing. So I'm going to give it a few more shots. I love the colour of this. Dang. Can you fuck stop? I've been distracted like 10 times and done what I was saying. Um, I think I was saying that I do really love the colour of this. As I said, I was struggling to find out exactly how many shades that they have. And in Superdrug, this was the last dark brown. But I definitely did see another two or three shades on the rack. But my Superdrug is kind of small, so they don't really have, like, a whole selection of everything in. So if you can find your shade in this, I do think, actually, that the shades are somewhat true to colour of an eyebrow tone. A lot of, a lot of browns that are made by, like, more drugstore brands have a lot of red in them which isn't true like eyebrow hairs don't tend to have red in them unless they're unless it's like on a red head or something like that eyebrows tend to be like a lot of a cooler tone and that's how you can make a pencil or pomade look a bit more natural so yeah overall i recommend you just pick up this product try it out it wasn't the worst but it wasn't the best either i do think that you should try it out two pound fifty um you can't really complain at the price the packaging is amazing buy the packaging i won't guess how cheap it is it doesn't really feel cheap at all I would say reasonably, I would say that this was about seven to ten pounds. That's um pomade on my finger, by the way. So yeah, they did a really nice job with the packaging, but Makeup Revolution always do. I do love their packaging. So yeah, definitely check this eyebrow pencil out. So that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um I hope you enjoyed me enjoyed watching me struggle with my eyebrows so much. And yeah, we we tested out a dupe. It wasn't really a dupe, but it looks like one. If you're not already, then please. If you're not already, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the little notification bell down below so you get notified every time I upload. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.